Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, we're going to Nebraska where I've received rare video footage, not only from the ground, but from in an airplane at 36,000 feet of a unique storm of nonstop strobe lightning over Springfield, Nebraska, two days ago on July 30th of 2021. I'm going to share with you some of the unique video footage that I received because there's two minutes of nonstop lightning. Pretty incredible. Also in this video, we've got yet another bizarre tree that showed up in Missouri. Gentleman was out for a walk, happened to see yet another tree waving at him as he was on his daily walk. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos sent in from all around the world. But first here at the website, quick look at the Schumann Residence, all quiet for the most part, a little bit of background noise, hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. They they too are relatively quiet considering we're used to seeing earthquake activity over here at least recently taking a look at the earth facing side of the sun all quiet for the time being except for some out of bounds sunspots they're developing down here in the southern hemisphere of the sun way down here that's kind of out of bounds most of your sunspot and solar activity is near just above or below the equator not way down there in the southern hemisphere so we'll keep an eye on that but for now everything's all quiet on the earth facing side of the sun want to take you guys now to Nebraska where there was a recent storm that included non-stop strobe lightning with no sound. There was no thunder associated with this lightning. This video footage was sent in by Amber from the ground. It goes on for a minute and 30 seconds. So I'm going to show you guys the original speed video right here of non-stop lightning. This is incredible. I have done nothing to this video. It's exactly the way I received it. Over there is the radar at the time of this video. You can see there were storms moving through the area and they were highly energized you can hear them talking in the background they were just astonished at the degree of static in the atmosphere when these storms were rolling through i'm going to pause this video here i'm going to take you guys now to the video footage from 36,000 feet looking at these same thunderstorms from an airplane this video footage was sent in by daryl who was up in the sky above nebraska during these storms on july 30th again there's the storm systems on the left looking at the storms from an airplane at 36,000 feet. This hardly ever happens. I have two people. This has happened one other time. It happened in Florida. I had somebody on the ground recording a lightning storm, and somebody was in an airplane recording the same lightning storm, and this is the second time this has occurred. This was very intense lightning that lasted for a long time. We're just looking at a small segment of how long that lasted, but there was two minutes of basically non-stop lightning over Nebraska just a couple of days ago. Remember Bedford, Pennsylvania? Got the video footage from Lisa T of the Waving Tree. This was back in July. She recorded this in June and July. This went on for over a month. That one branch of leaves was waving back and forth, moving side to side for over 30 days. Well, it's happened again in St. James, Missouri, noticed by Tommy P. as he was out for a walk on July 28th. And you can see the leaves over here on the right moving erratically in all directions. Notice the other trees around those leaves are not moving at all. There's no wind anywhere. And he makes that clear as he's going to go over and investigate why these leaves are moving, and there's no logical explanation. He walks up to them, and as you can see, like the leaves in Bedford, Pennsylvania, that was noticed by Lisa and her family, Tommy also noticed the same thing. I'm going to let you listen to what he has to say. So weird, man. I don't see anything else moving around. I just walked by and it was waving at me. So weird. Like the tree in Pennsylvania, and he just said, I just walked by and the branches were waving at him. 
unexplainably. There's no wind. There's no reason for those to be moving back and forth like that. Here they are in fast forward just to show you. And the reason I do this is to show you the leaves basically around the leaves that are moving. Notice how even in fast forward, the leaves surrounding the moving branches are not moving. Look how fast those things are going compared to the other leaves. No wind whatsoever on the left, Missouri, on the right, Pennsylvania. This makes two times now in 30 days we've seen very bizarre movement on trees, of all things, moving for reasons that are unknown. Now I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Lindsay, also out of Missouri, noticed this big hole in the sky, or at least the cloud configuration formed what looked like a gigantic hole in the sky. Here's the same photo in a different format. You can clearly see the hole. Christy L. out of Fairhaven, Michigan. Notice this unique cloud looked like a ship coming down was going to land in the water above Lake Michigan. Incredible photos. Pat B. out of Maryville, Illinois. Notice this unique roll cloud very low to the ground. Also very photogenic. I would have been taking photos myself. Marie out of Bavaria. A spectacular towering double-decker rainbow with a fiery orange sky over there as the sun was setting off to the to the west. Punta Gorda, Florida. Yet another very intense double-decker rainbow by Mark. Photo here sent in by our friend Mary Hall from the International Space Station. As it was going over Africa, Mary noticed some wildfires down on the ground. You don't normally see these from the space station, or at least I haven't. And she also observed this very unique cloud canopy that looks exactly like that. Looks like a perfect canopy sitting in the sky above Africa looking down from 250 miles high in the sky. Thanks for the photos guys. Keep them coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website and sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.